juicy system, a drenching downpour. An active weather situation across the southwestern United States. We're tracking this storm system from the Gulf of Alaska that's going to be diving down and impacting much of California. So let's walk you through all of this in case you're just now catching up on the situation. Those loud raindrops woke up a lot of people. This rain could wind up being very, very problematic. Rain is bringing new dangers to California after the wildfires of 2017. Now this is important because we're going from one natural hazard straight into another. What we're expecting all day for today, uh, we're looking for a uh, burn scar flooding, a potential problem with debris flow that's happening out of the hills where we've already had the devastating fire and, and all that just, uh, just continue to just tear apart. And now they are getting it, but they're getting it in a big way that could wind up causing problems with mudslides and debris flow. In the Santa Cruz Mountains, Highway 9 was shut down in both directions due to mudslides. Rock slides shut down Highway 1 south of Big Sur, and some flooding was reported on several Bay Area freeways. Flights have been delayed or canceled, including 149 delays at SFO, especially in the areas that have been hit recently by fires. We've got more rain that's going to be coming in here through Wednesday. There is much more to come. Hey, this could mean problems. Hence the reason for concern. I worry a lot. Thunder on the way. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, just as I had predicted four days ago, the rain totals in California through 9.30 a.m. Texas time today have been much, much higher than all the models predicted. So the conditions in California are rapidly deteriorating. We have multiple, multiple highways and roads being shut down due to flooding and landslides. San Clemente, roadway flooding. San Francisco, road closed due to flooding. Oakland and Alameda, mudslide removal. By Lobitos, road closed due to flooding. Full I-35 closure due to washout, landslide repair. The whole highway. Closure of a road. Ice cream grade. What? What does that even mean, man? California's weird. San Jose, roads closed due to flooding. Salinas, Gomez, road closed due to flooding. Mudslide, dirt rock. Antelope Road, by Los Alamos. Mudslide, dirt and rock. Santa Barbara, roadway flooding. Full southbound 101 closure due to mud dirt rock slide. East westbound 192, full closure due to mudslide. Road closed due to weather conditions. In this storm, will probably rain all day. Down by Laguna Niguela, Road closed due to flooding. Carlsbad. Roadway due to flooding. So, I'll keep you guys updated. But it looks pretty bad. Some of these places are going to get over a foot of rain. I mean, the storm even looks weird. Shaped like a horseshoe. Usually that's good luck. But not today. Las Vegas is now getting pounded. That's a very heavy rain band. So, I'll keep you guys posted. I don't know if you remember last year. About a year ago. I've been keeping a visual catalog of all the infrastructure damage done in America due to severe weather in the last two years. Two of the most memorable moments were when the one bridge to Big Sur broke in half and when my favorite highway of all time, the one, part of it, a giant chunk, got taken out by a giant dirt land mudslide. So I doubt those have been repaired. We're about to see a lot more damage done, I believe. So stay cool, California. Try and be dry. Yeah, Las Vegas may encounter flooding and so... I'll keep you guys posted. Stay cool. An area of low pressure out over the Pacific has subtropical origins in terms of that moisture that's going to be feeding in up ahead of it is allowing for moisture to flow back on shore into California. So the amount of moisture and available precipitation to kind of get squeezed out of the atmosphere is quite great. Which is why we've got this dangerous flooding threat and the flash flood watches that are in place. We're looking for rain right along the West Coast, particularly heavy showers from Los Angeles down towards San Diego. And so we think this is going to be a lot of rain in a short period of time will really make a mess of uh, uh, the travel in Southern California. In Southern California, more than 20,000 people in Santa Barbara and Ventura counties were urged to evacuate. Officials also ordered mandatory evacuations of about 700 homes in burn areas of Los Angeles County. Crews put barriers up to prevent sewage backup. Yes, it's been a very busy morning. We've seen wet weather since the very early morning hours. Check it out in San Francisco, record rainfall 
over three inches of rain. You could San Francisco, Daly City, South San Francisco also seeing very intense rain. Same with Mill Valley. Some impressive totals so far this morning. This is about an inch of rain per hour. And we're still seeing it on our high def Doppler. And the area we're most concerned about, of course, is in the areas where we had had the fires through here, the burn areas. And as I said, these areas just cannot handle that kind of moisture that is coming in here. And so that does pose some real problems throughout the area. Making the people, especially across Southern California, a bit anxious and rightfully so. This is the area we're most worried about because, of course, of those burn areas. The areas of orange, the more intense areas of that rainfall. South of Santa Rosa there on Highway 101, Sebastopol. We also know that in the first rains of the season that trees sometimes are a little more vulnerable to failure uh, just because around the ground loosens up. Uh, so we might have some down trees, especially if they're going to be high winds. And then increasingly windy conditions for us. And we'll have blustery winds as well. Residents like Archie Powell, who have lived in California their whole lives and witnessed the devastating wildfires, are not looking forward to the storm. A uh, fire scares me, and what could happen with this frightens me. The burn areas here, you think, oh, that's great. They get this rainfall that continues to come in. Uh, but not such a good deal because when you get those fires that come through, they not only wipe out the vegetation, they also kind of crystallize that soil. And because of that, what we get just runs off. Continue to see soaking rains throughout California and higher elevation snow. Heavy snows above 8,000 feet, about one to two feet. Vegas gets pretty wet this afternoon, and even Phoenix will get in on the wet weather.